It's time for Mini News, Mini News Sesh. Yeah! yeah. Hey kids, and welcome back to Designed by Wing of Social. I'm your host, Darla Jethro Powell, and I am joined by social media manager extraordinaire Sydney Hill in our series. I guess it's going to be a three-parter of get to know your social media manager at Wingnut Social with some tips and actionable, actionable, I should say, advice at the very end here, of course. So Sydney, you've been on. This isn't your first go around. This isn't your first rodeo. You have been on, but just tell the audience who you are and what you do, and we'll dig in. Yes. Thanks for having me today, Darla. My name is Sydney Hill, and I am a social media manager here at Wingnut Social. So I go over all the accounts, I manage all the content, and I work with the clients just to really produce as high quality and amazing content as possible. And you do such a good job. You really do. I'm so proud of you. We just had Whitney and you, you're like right, like a month behind Whitney. Whitney Shaney was just on and she's coming up on her year and you are too. Soon. Yes. So I'm so proud of the growth that you guys have had. You guys do such a terrific job. So that being said, tell me a little bit about what your favorite part is of being a social media manager. You got to have one. Yes. So that is an easy one for me. My favorite part of working here at Wingnut is really getting to know our clients and getting to know their designs and what inspires them and just kind of their business goals in general, and then working with them to really push them and make their business as successful as possible. Just helping them with marketing and helping them kind of utilize the impact that social media really does have in the marketing world to really just elevate their business is it's such a joy for me. That seems to be a very common denominator, right? Among us all, myself, Abby, you, Whitney, and, and the entire team is just really getting to know the business and the business owners and the different goals and the different designs and aesthetics and voice. It's never two or two are never the same. It's always super interesting and fun. I, I, I really enjoy that as well. Yeah, me too. All right. So now I'm going to have to ask you, <laughs> <laughs> what is some idiosyncrasy or some kind of like something weird that not a lot of people know about you? Oh, gosh. I would have to say, kind of going off of Whitney's, I'll still, I'll steal hers a bit. But when I order a drink, like if I get a coffee or if I get a cocktail at dinner, I like to savor the cocktail. So a little opposite of her, but I have to make that drink last the entire dinner. Or if I get a morning coffee, I will make it last four hours long. It'll just sit at my <laughs> desk and I'll take little sips at a time. I think that's mine. So by at four hours, you're drinking cold coffee. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you're cool with that? I am very cool with that. Yeah. I just love savoring my little latte and it drives <laughs> my friends insane. They hate it. They think it's a bad habit to have, but I love it. <laughs> I, I like it. I think that says a lot about you, that you're disciplined yes. and you can delay gratification, you know, that you're not just all everything at once. You know, I like that. I think Thank that's you. very revealing. I'll have to tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's yeah, definitely indicative of your discipline and your work ethic, which is superb, by the way. Abby and I were just talking about that the other day. Abby, Abigail Weidman Coots is our assistant director here and how much she appreciates your work ethic. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, love it. You know, because I drive, I drive a hard ship here. <laughs> Anywho, so, okay, so let's get into your actionable advice. What would you say? And if it's more than one, that's fine. Would you say is the most important piece of advice that you would give interior designers when it comes to marketing themselves on social media? Yeah. So I would say mine's kind of a two-parter. So first of all, it's get to know your ideal client. And sometimes that's doing a little introspective dive into your business and really taking a moment and stepping back and saying, who do you want to work with? But then the second part to that is getting to know your competitors. And I think when you're able to combine both of these, you're going to have a really successful outcome. So going off of that, I really think that in order to know who your competition is, you have to first know who your ideal clientele is. So getting to know people who just really appreciate your designs, I think, and people who really understand your art form, because design is such an art form of its own, and really understanding who those people are, what they do for work, where they live. Um, I think it's a really important piece to marketing that's often forgotten. And then once you have that, say once you have that dialed in, what is that looking like on your social channels? How is that actionable? 
Yeah, that's a great question. So then it's just connecting with those people and really trying to build a two-way relationship with them. So it's for me, it's always finding something that we have in common. Maybe if it's we both love the beach or we both love to surf, it's going to your town's local surf club Instagrams and engaging with those accounts and trying to find the people who make up the audience of those accounts and building a relationship with them. And you do love to surf. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's another thing about you. Weren't you? Weren't you like a collegiate or professional surfer? What? what no, tell us I just. I was just on my um, college's surf club. How cool! But, yes. How cool is that? Do you ever see sharks? I have not ever. Just dolphins, which I'm happy about. <laughs> <sighs> dolphins are great, but I don't know. I, I've seen some serious TikToks with sharks in there and surfers. I don't know yeah. if I can brave that. And I scuba dive, or at least it's been. Oh, a minute, that's right. I, yeah. yeah, yeah. If they're out there, I just haven't known, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, ignorance is bliss, I guess. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sydney Hill. Thank you so much for joining us and telling us a little bit more about you and how you like to work. We love you here at Wingnut. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Thank you so much, Darla. uh, Yeah, no, thank you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right, kids. There you have it from the horse's mouth, our very own team of millennials. (laughs) And there are some more, right? I have some more on my team, more social media managers that is part-time, have SEO managers that are full-time and part-time, all in-house, never outsourced, all in the United States. Um, Not everyone is that comfortable getting on camera (laughs) doing a podcast though. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to push or make anyone do anything they don't want to do. Right. Except sometimes Abby doesn't want to do the mini news and I make her, (laughs) but that's another story. All right. Uh, That is it for this mini news. Make sure to tune in Wednesday for an extended interview with a terrific expert guest. that's going to help you run your interior design business or your architect firm, or if you're a to the trade manufacturer, some sound business and marketing uh, practices always every Wednesday. For that. And if you need help with marketing any of those uh, things, we only we specialize in the interior design realm, genre, vertical, milieu, or however you want to say that. And that includes interior designers, architects, for home furnishings, pros, manufacturers, interior design business coaches, that kind of thing. We are the number one marketing agency in that space. And that's been through blood, sweat, tears, and five years <laughs> of experience. And I, as a former, or I guess I'm still an interior decorator. I'm just not doing it professionally right now. I learned how to market interior design firms very effectively. And that is what we do here. Wingnutsocial.com. And don't forget our Instagram for interior designers course is out. And that's doing really, really well. And I think at the time this is airing, you can still take advantage of our Halloween sale by entering in code Halloweeny. <laughs> that's H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N-I-E, one W, to get a 25% off discount on that. And that is also at wingnutsocial.com. Kids, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you on Wednesday. Remember, until next time, to get out there, get uncomfortable, and be great. Many new sash. Yeah! yeah.